Defender Jed Adcock came in for the injured Daniel Rich following Brisbane's 23-point loss to Fremantle last week. There has been no place like home for the Lions, just one win in the previous 11 matches. Just like the Lions, Port Adelaide had won only two matches this season and the Power made two changes following the 45-point drubbing from North Melbourne. The power was switched on early. Robert Gray and Jay Schultz found the target for a 12-0 lead. Schultz normally a very, very precise kick, and that's no exception. Port have got two and two minutes. Schultz banged through Port's third goal of the game before Sam Sheldon got the Lions on the board. He comes 48 metres out. Long ball, straight ball. First goal for the Brisbane Lions. They trail by just two goals. Then, a case of power versus power. Brisbane surge. McGrath's got the outside runner and power on his non-preferred right foot. Magnificent finish from Brisbane. After missing from much closer, Jonathan Brown put the Lions in front. Gives it everything. Good looking ball. Swings a little left to right. Jonathan Brown, magnificent. No thoughts of self-preservation from Dominic Cassisi as the captain regained the lead for Port before Patrick Kinesis made it a one-point game at quarter time. Kinesis comes in and he just bends it left to right. He knew there's a lot to like about Queensland winters, and after Power's left boot banana kick kept Brisbane in touch, Brown put his shirt back on to put the Lions back in front. These two goals will have met at 100 metres. How about that from Big Jono? After three consecutive Lions goals, Port Adelaide went coast to coast. Hartlett's got something forward. Phillips can give the handball further afield. Schultz a juggling attempt can run all the way. Schultz has kicked his third, Port get a much needed one. The lead seesawed when David Roden curled in his kick, followed by Brett Ebert. A low slammer. At half time, Port Adelaide 8-5-53, Brisbane 7-3-45. Ebert opened the second half the way he ended the first. Ebert for his second from near on point blank range and he hammers it home. Carnes has ended Port Adelaide's run of four straight goals before Schultz added two goals in two minutes to give the power a 20 point lead. Schultz will come in, kick goal number five, a little bit of confusion there. One of the veteran lines stepped up to help bridge the gap. As he see McGrath come in and just sent a low rocket, scorching. For Port, it seemed like Schultz could do nothing wrong. He says, I'm going to play on. Little handball over the top. If Schultz gets this, it's the career high. Seven goals. He's got it. He equals his career high. Brisbane had to answer the power surge, and Brown saw an opportunity. Does the big man turn around and wind up? He does. He goes from 55. It's on top. Another goal from the skipper made it a seven-point game before Rowan Buick energised the Gabba faithful. Got the runner out wide in Buick, left foot around the body. They're within a point, Brisbane. Midway through the final quarter, Brisbane hit the front again. Long ball comes in, mark taken, and not quite by Howard. Off hands, quick kick at goal, power's got it. Less than seven minutes to play, the Lions made it five straight majors. still are. He's 55 metres out from Brisbane's goal, there's no one forward. Jonathan Brown wants it, he's kicked it over his head. He just didn't have enough patience. Oh. But the ball beats the hands of Chaplin. Full-time Brisbane 15-9-99, Port Adelaide 13-10-88. It's just watching the guys just having a crack and keep fighting. And, and as Luke said, we've been, we've been remained close as a group and we've fought together hard. We've, you know, we've been competitive a lot of games, just haven't been able to put four quarters together. So that was really good today to be able to come from behind and win. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.